Hey guys, what's up? My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent and this is my review of the DJI Phantom 3 Standard Quadcopter Drone. All right guys, so full disclosure, I have never flown a drone before this drone came into my possession. And so this is not gonna be a comprehensive review where I go into every single detail about this drone. This is going to be more of the average Joe perspective on what I've thought and how I enjoyed using this drone here this last weekend. So really I just wanna highlight some of the cool features that I found in the drone and kind of give you my overall experience. So this is the DJI Phantom Standard, which is DJI's prosumer level quadcopters. They're not quite consumer level, but they're not quite pro level. They kind of fill in that gap somewhere in between. And at a price point of $699, it is significantly cheaper than some of the pro level drones that you'll see out there, which range from two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 on up. The Phantom series of drones has become somewhat of an industry standard and they provide what many would consider the best bang for buck when it comes to drone quality. Now this has an RTF designation, which means out of the box, it's ready to fly. It comes with everything you'll need to get up in the air within literally just a matter of minutes. So you get a drone, the controller, and in my opinion, something that's quite incredible, which is a 2.7K camera, which takes great pictures and video. Now, part of the magic of the camera is that it comes with an integrated two axis gimbal, which serves a couple of functions. One, the gimbal allows you to have uh, motorized control of the camera, and it also provides an enormous stability while taking video and pictures. Now the camera sends a signal back to your controller, which then can be paired with your uh, iPhone or Android phone to provide a live feed of whatever's happening or taking place on camera. So you can kind of see that demonstrated here uh, in real time and it provides vir virtually zero latency uh, as far as the picture is concerned. So being able to see what your camera sees obviously helps you compose your shots and video. It also helps for flight mode so you can see things in flight uh, that might be harder to see from the ground. Now keep in mind for 700 bucks, that sounds like a lot, but you're getting a drone, a controller, and this camera. I mean, I would have pay probably five or six hundred bucks just to get a camera and gimbal that was this buttery smooth, let alone a few hundred dollars more to get a drone attached with it. So that's super impressive that DJI can provide us with a camera of this quality on a drone of this quality at this price point. So it's super impressive. All of these shots you're seeing are shots that happened over the course of just two or three days of not owning a drone to owning a drone and taking these shots right out of the box. And that takes me to the next point, and that is that it's not hard to fly. This drone is actually pretty easy to fly. Now, I did almost have a few incidents where I've wrecked it or crashed it a couple of times, but you'll notice here that its stability in the air with its GPS capabilities allow you to just take your hands off and it will just hover in midair without wrecking or crashing, and that is awesome. All of the close calls that I've had were user error. I mean, this thing even has a mode where it does take off for you, just as you see on screen now. Since it does have GPS, you can set a home point when you take off, and if the drone loses GPS acquisition or runs into any sort of problems, it will return back to that home point. So I'm fast forwarding this video now on screen for you, and you can see this feature where the drone is returning back to the point at which I launched the drone, and I'm not controlling the drone right now. It's flying completely by itself. You'll notice that my controller is on the ground next to me. So you can click that feature to auto return home and land, or it can also do that automatically if you run into any trouble. Now I did find that flying without GPS, as I'm doing here indoors, just to make sure I don't get a fly away or it doesn't blow away with the wind, Flying without GPS, you're in a manual mode and it is much, much harder to control, especially if you're outside where you're getting gusts of wind. So I don't recommend if you're a beginner flying in any sort of manual mode, make sure you're always flying in a GPS enabled mode so that you don't accidentally get some flyaways and crashes. Now, true to form, like any top shelf drone, this has what are called intelligent flight modes, which basically means that there are modes that provide automated flight patterns. And one of those flight modes is a point of interest mode, which allows you to set a GPS point at which the copter will rotate around that point at a certain radius that you set and a certain speed that you set. And it will just point the camera towards that point of interest to allow you to get some great shots and video. 
The drone also has a follow me mode, which allows the drone to follow wherever the controller is at, at a specified height and distance. So here you'll see me skateboarding down the road and the drone follows me uh, at a perfect distance and pace nice and smoothly. The drone also has what is called a home lock flight mode, which rearranges the controls to set it up in such a way that it gives you a little bit more of an intuitive feel to the controls. And I found this helpful when flying in very low altitude areas where I might have obstacles or trees or mailboxes in my path. It was helpful to fly in this mode and have a little bit more control over the drone. Now I did feel that in this mode I had better control over the drone but less control over the camera, so it is a compromise. Course lock allows you to to set a straight course, which is great if you're trying to get panning shots, uh, maybe following a car or a bicycle. It also allows you to control the camera while you're in that panning mode to get some great shots and worry about composing your video rather than worrying about flying as much. Now course lock is very similar to my favorite intelligent flight mode, which is waypoints, which allows you to set waypoints, GPS coordinates and altitude where it will uh, create a certain flight path. So this allows you to completely take your hands off of the controls of the drone and worry more about composing your shots or taking pictures while the drone flies a predetermined course. So this is an amazing drone. It's definitely forward thinking and there's a little bit of future proofing that DJI has done into this drone. So I don't know that anything that's on the market right now or gonna be hitting the market anytime in the next few months is going to be able to compete with the Phantom 3 standard as far as features, quality, and price point. Hey guys, my name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. We'll catch you guys next time.